previously on my ultimate dance competition. And the winner is Hadley. Get your ass out of here now. Get out. I did Get out. out. So why did you do it wrong? It's just a habit that I'm trying to Bad break. Habit. You better chill out. I think Hadley and her mother put Amanda in the hip hop because they thought that they were going to trip her up. Elizabeth, today is not your day. <laughs> we're looking for the best well-rounded dancer, 13 and under. She has no idea how big this is. It'll change my life, like, a lot. Your name is known in the country. But first, they'll have to go through us. Yeah! Choreographer for the Pussycat Dolls, Robin Anton. You're a nice dancer. You're not the best dancer. Lady Gaga's choreographer, Richie Jackson. As soon as you went, cool, you said, And me, Abby Lee Miller. You're on your way to a great career. Next on my ultimate dance competition. Last week is over. We're not even focused on that. We can pack and go home. OK, so stop it. Turn out your foot correctly and point it. You better take this seriously. I'm sorry. I think her time has come. Judges, have you come to a decision? Yes. You're in the way. I'm feeling pressure this week to make up for my routine last week because that didn't go over so well with the judges. So in my performance this week, I really have to shine. You just stand strong, keep those shoulders back, and keep that chin up and be the Hadley that I know. You know, don't cut yourself short because there's going to be a lot of people throughout the course of your lifetime that are going to cut you short. Our game plan is to go into the elimination this week confident. I mean, we need to step up our game and we need to step it up together. Remember what I said to you the other day? When I'm working with you, I'm not your mom anymore. I'm what? My teacher. OK. We're going to get ready for the day and new outfit. We've been here too long, so I really miserably <sighs> homesick. Sam, guess what? Lexine made it through for another week. Yes. Um, just keep smiling, babe, and also, just have fun, yeah? Look like you're having a lot of fun. Okay. okay. Oops. Keep your move super sharp. Okay. So wish Lexine luck. I miss you. With only seven dancers left, the kids and their moms are feeling the pressure. This is going to be another tough week for all of them, and I can't wait to let them know what I have in store for them. Hey, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Now, each week, we have focused on a different skill that you will all need if you want to become the first ever winner of Abby's ultimate dance competition. Your skill this week is improvisation. The big thing now at auditions is improv. They want to see you think quick on your feet. This is you getting to bring yourself to the dance floor. You need to be creative in your thinking. You need to be smart in your choices and you never, ever want to do anything that you don't do really well. Are you guys ready to meet the choreographer for this week's group dance challenge? Guess what? There isn't one. Doing things a little different this week. We're going to have an improv dance-off right here and now. Knowing that I have to do a dance battle right now, it's kind of like, take a step back. What style you're going to go for? What are your best moves you want to incorporate? Could you pull from anything? and then go. All right, so here's how this dance-off is going to work. Two of you will step up. Abby will tell you who's going to dance first. You're then on. You show us your best dance moves. She'll tell you when to stop. The next dancer is up. You will dance. You'll go back and forth like that until Abby picks a winner. The next dancer up will take on that winner. That winner stays. We'll do that until there is one dancer remaining, and that dancer is the winner of the challenge. Cool? Yes. Yes. Stay in your zone. You never want to really touch another person, but definitely threaten your opponent. It makes me kind of excited and nervous at the same time that the skill this week is improvisation. I get really nervous because I have to think a lot, and then at the same time, I'm excited because I get to show all my strengths. First up, Asia against Hadley. If this was an eight and under competition, hands down, Asia should win. But come on, 
This is 13 and under. Come on. Game on. And go. for a dancer who thinks outside the box. Somebody creative, somebody innovative, somebody that I would want on my team. And sit down. Lexi! So I noticed Lexine's looking a little nervous. Maybe the nurse got a hold of her today. at the wrong beat of the music. And I know I still have to push harder, but I know she's going to come right back at me with some sassy moves. Asia's crazy. Asia is like a cat. She's had nine lives. You know, she should have been cut the second week. Bye-bye. That's not fair. Lexine did not get to improv the second time, which she gave everybody a chance. So I thought, okay, whatever, you know. And go! Go! Fueling up the super play. I'll be on my way. I gotta teach you that. But first, I'm gonna say, 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 I'm gonna
Yes! Madison should have won that competition, hands down. I don't know what Abby was looking at. Um, she didn't outshine her technique, but she outshined her in the facial. And that's what I think Abby was looking at. This week's theme is journey through the decades. That means we're gonna take different genres of fad dances from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, all the way up into the 80s and 90s and put them into choreography for the competition on stage. Asia, you won. That means you get to choose your competition routine. Your choices are a 20s flapper solo, a 50s duet, a 60s go-go dancing solo, an 80s pop duet, and a 90s hip hop solo. I felt there's favoritism on Asia. It was too obvious because she's doing the same thing over and over. Make a decision here. An 80s pop duet. Interesting, okay. She looks sassy and awesome and cute. That's why she won the challenge. I was upset. I was really upset. This week, I'm giving out three solos and two duets. I want to see how some kids will handle the spotlight and also how some of them will handle sharing it. I'm really excited for my solo this week. I have 60s go-go. I'm a little nervous because I haven't done a solo yet in the competition. So this is our prop for the week. That's a big prop. We have a, yes. At first, when I see the box, I'm a little concerned because I know that Madison's probably going to be doing turns on that box. And I know that she's going to be concerned of falling off. Do we have to use the box? <laughs> yes, we do. And 801. Yeah. The no turns. No more notes from you. I'm choreographing this piece. She's up high. She's turning in a 4 by 4 space. So I was concerned for her. Do you think they need to cut the prompt? No, I think it'll be OK. I think it's just a matter of her getting, getting, used, getting to used to it. Right, and it's and practicing it's, with it. And that's well, my it's concern. It's only been 45 minutes. I think Gina wants to kick me out of her rehearsal because I'm putting too much of my two cents in. But I just want the best for Madison. Welcome to the 20s. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. My dance assignment this week is a 20s Lapper solo. We're going to show off your legs. We're going to show off your turns. We're going to show off that you're a girl. All right, are you excited for that? Yes. Yes? I'm happy that I finally get a solo, but I'm also nervous just because so far, there's only been one solo that's helped someone, and that was Amanda's solo. The rest of the solos have kind of hurt them. Should I say roadkill? Right? There's like these little moments of surprise. Ah, this solo routine is really going to push Brianna. It's completely out of her comfort zone. This girly, girly part of her, it's going to challenge her and push her to a place that I don't think she's really ever been before. What are you doubting? Is it just doing a solo in front of all these people? Yeah. yeah. Okay, honey, you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, you're going behind her now? No, you're supposed to do it in front. I am just overwhelmed about the whole thing. I'm away from home for several weeks. I am just going out of my mind. So I. I finally, you know, just cried it all out. <laughs> I'm just frustrated about the whole thing. Christy, the last person I want to see. I still have reservation because she's a competitor for me. We're going to practice it until the timing's right. And you know and I know what it looks like when it's good. With Asian and Lexine, I'm afraid for Lexine. You know, no matter what, Asia will always shine because she just has that magic in her. Yeah, hang with me, though, because I'm really yeah. weak right now. I know. You're good. Come on. You're good. You're good. Let's go. Let's watch him. Turn this frown around. Go from eight, six, seven, eight. Go one. I'm really excited because I'm with Amanda, and Amanda does have better technique than me, but I have other areas that are stronger than her. Having to work with Yvette this week is going to take a lot of control and patience on my part. Don't mess with me, because I will protect. 
I will protect my daughter. Yeah. The music is a lot of fun. It used to be Yvette's era. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I placed Amanda in a hip hop piece. So I think that Malin is still very emotional about it. Jordan's doing a 90s themed hip hop. She needs to bring it. Just because it's her genre of dance, her forte, doesn't mean she can back down. So you want to attack it like you're about to go 120 miles per hour and then, but not really. I love hip hop and I'm really excited because I have a solo by Q. Not bad, not bad. Go ahead and grab some water real quick. Okay. You're, you're throwing your arms out straight on that, you know, on this part. But when you're doing, when you're over here, do that, and you're doing the heels, make sure that, because I know now you're working on getting your arms straighter and really throwing them hard, but don't don't forget the heel. Jordan struggles with taking critiques from me. There's not many kids that I know today that take criticism well, you know, especially from their parents. But if somebody else tells them, you know, it's fine. It looks sloppy when you throw them out. We finally get a little break from the competition. Go to the coffee shop with Yvette, Kelly, Corina, myself. If you're gonna speak to someone about something that you have inside, that's the perfect moment to do it. That's like last week. She put a man in hip hop and I still don't understand why. I don't like people that are two-faced. If I had a choice, Malin, I'd have been tapped. Oh, so you're going there. Is that the game that you play? Where did you want her? I don't know, I wanted you to be fair, and I thought maybe putting her in hip hop, you were not at that moment in time. Where would you put kids? No, I think that I would put them where they would do the best. Really? Yes, I would, yes. Really? Come on, Maylin. After what I've gone through with Christy, you're nothing. I will change the whole thing if I don't like it. I, I'm not like that, I don't think like that, I think differently. I agree, 100%. Last week, Mei Lin was not happy about her putting Amanda in the hip hop group. This is a competition and there is a strategy and that was Yvette's strategy. I try not to set anybody else for failure or anything no, like that. You that know? moment, I thought, oh, you know what? It's happy and I, look at this setup. Yvette can bring as many strategies to the table as she wants but I'm not buying any of them because I have seen it all. And to me, she is just another dance mom. I know it's a competition, but I don't want your child to be on that stage and be torn in that way. Hell no. I will protect any child, whether it's mine or not. What do you want me to tell you? All right, now do it properly with arms, please. I want to see tension. I don't want to see lips open. I'm not here to make her life miserable. I'm here, I'm on her team. You continue to slide out and do a lunge with a turned in foot. Turn out your foot correctly and point it. I have been. things that you learned when you were three and four years old. I could be at home with my son and my husband, but I'm here with you and it's not for recess and playtime. And you're just gonna sit here and continue to be lazy when what you should be doing is busting your butt and getting it right. You better take this seriously. I am, I'm just doing it. I'm here to win this. I need to know if you are too. Yes. No, you, you, you talk the big talk. Now dance the big dance. We're back. It's competition day, and the girls and the moms don't have a lot of time to get ready. We gotta do this today. You promise me that this is gonna happen. With seven dancers left, they're gonna have to dance like they've never danced before to survive another week. We're not even focused on that. We're not bringing it with us. All the time I say to you, it's never your setback that matters. It's always your comeback that counts. Yeah. All right, we're coming back this week. Mm -hmm. We're going to show Abby and Richie and Robin, and we're not going home. I can't believe this. I'm still rhinestoning every time. Yvette? Do you need help? I'm starting to get hot again. You need to calm me down. Okay. Can I make it? Don't. The bra Don't. is not working. No, no, we got oh my this. God, I'm shaking now. Nothing is going right pretty much this morning because I'm nervous. Lexine is nervous. Costumes, I didn't get to finish it. You think I'm crying right now? Nope. Stop, stop. Just pull yourself together for your daughter. Come Maria is a loose cannon. She's a tornado, but I will tame the tornado. Please welcome Robin Anton. She's the creator and choreographer of the Pussycat Dolls. Next to Robin is Mr. Richie Jackson. He's the visual director and choreographer for Lady Gaga. And on the end over here, the queen of dance moms. It's Abby Lee Miller. Give it up. 
no, the brush is not working and it's not done. Tonight, the pressure is crazy. Everybody's freaking out. Brianna had a meltdown. Brianna, open the door, it's just me. All right, all right, all right. I think Brianna's an amazing dancer, and I don't think she should have been really nervous. Yeah, I swear to God, though, like, psych yourself out. All right. Brianna is freaking out, and I don't know why, but I just, I'm just not used to her being that extremely nervous. I'm stressed out to um, perform because this is the first time I'm doing a solo in this competition, so this is really important to me. You're so pretty. Thank you. All the routines performed by our dancers will be a different style from a different decade. Now it's time to step into the Roaring Twenties, where Brianna will give us her best impression of a Prohibition-era flapper. Let's give her a hand. subtleties, that it was slower, that we could see your lines. I love the walking and just all the little nuances of the choreography, the little things. Thank you. Okay. You are the kind of dancer that I would hire, that I would want to work with, that I would put with different artists, because you know how to just go from left to right. And in this choreography, what I love is that it was silent, but you spoke so loud and it was so clean and it was effortless. What I love is that each dance move gave you a different emotion. What's the one thing that I would want to see in this piece? Her Robin penis. Anton, Pussycat Dolls. A drop. Heels. Go and, and look up Sid Cherise right, and, 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 and Singing in the Rain and look at the number that she does and she's doing fan kicks and she, I mean, it is the most gorgeous number you've ever seen and she's in heels no. and she's in this kind of outfit and it's crazy hot. You're on your way to a great career. Yes, yes, you are. Thank you so much. Brianna's hard work paid off and I was proud of her. <laughs> Our second dance of the evening is a swing dance duet from the 50s. Here are Hadley and Amanda. The competition is narrowing down to the best of the best. If I get the same kind of critiques I did last week, I might be going home. Choreography was spot on, perfect. 
right there. I love period pieces. I thought this was great. Hadley, your front foot is flexing and then hooking. And I've told you about it before. You need to fix that. Richie? I want to say nice job, ladies, first of all. And thank you for the poster behind you. I love that addition. Oh, my god. Hadley, first of all, fantastic job. I love, most importantly, the fact that you got into your character, which is something that I feel like you've, you've kind of struggled on before. So this time, I was like, yes, she's in it. Great job for doing that. I, um, just to, I want to say, just overall, uh, the performance was so much fun. Amanda, I love the way you execute all your little, just like, you know, your feet. We are just beyond words, you know, perfection as far as a dancer. And I love that about you. Hadley, <laughs> you know, Amanda's better than you. She's just a better dancer. I mean, you're a very, very good quality dancer. But you have to know that Amanda, if you're on a racetrack, she's beating you. OK, great. Great job, Hadley. Yes. Great job, though. Oh. Fix a little technique, yeah. but great job. So Robin says to Hadley, you're losing, and Amanda's beating you. Kick her while she's down, really? That was awful. You know how I, I, I've been stressing about this whole thing with your duet with Aisha? You know why, right? Aisha is really, really, really cute. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. Can you just look at me? Yeah. OK? Lexine is ready. Aisha is the one who's not ready. Lexine has to adjust for Aisha. That's what's my frustration. This is a really important day, OK? Just focus. Do what you love to do. Be yourself. Be strong. Remember, dance your heart out, OK? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smile. This is like the girls want to have fun. Smile. I have to run the number over and over. And I'm running it, looking at Lexine, not doing it the way she was doing it during the rehearsal. You're not going to dance no, if you cry. OK, so don't cry. I think my mom is putting a bit more pressure on me than the past. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I do like Maria. I just didn't like the parenting. I think that Lexi knows exactly what she needs to do. Lexi, do you want to walk out right now? We can pack and go home. No. OK, so show it to me. I know Maria came into this day really just stressed out. OK, that's it. We're packing. I'm sorry. You know, no. No. OK, so stop it. I, you know I'm going to go home. It was a whirlwind, like we're having this tornado right before we go on stage and not knowing how to stop it. You know we don't need to do this. Yes. If I don't see that, perfect. We're going to just go home. Great, that's right. Oh, dear Lord, this is the night. This will be the great night for everybody to remember them. They're the youngest in these competitions, but they're going to stay on top. Maria is freaking out, so I'm just crossing my fingers to make it through this routine at this point. Yay! Right now, we're cruising back to the 80s. Please welcome Asia and Lexine. I can't look at the lazy releve. I can't look at the bad turned in feet. Now you're even rolling on your arches. You sit back in your heel. But up here, you cannot take it away from her. If we put her behind iron bars, she would still get a look somewhere. She would be able to weasel in between those bars and get to her audience, get to her camera, get to her judges. I agree with Abby 100%. 
Um, let's see. When I watch you dance, it's like a breath of fresh air. What I love about you is this fireball, go get it spirit that you have. But what I want you to also realize is that when you are dancing next to someone who you who gives you face, you have to also kind of like check out your opponent. Asia. You have improved so much. You really have, and I'm so proud of you. You've given us a lot of doubts, but you just keep rising, and you keep, you keep proving us wrong. Lexine, I think that you have to work hard in this competition around all these great dancers, because you're a nice dancer. You're not the best dancer. It was a solo piece for me, because I kept watching Asia. I mean, put you on stage with Beyonce, and I mean, I would still look at you. Ooh. Maxine danced so well. From where I was watching it, I really saw her energy. I saw everything from her that she's really fighting this. It's like she's dancing for her life. It was, it was really good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Performance now is Madison, who will take us to the psychedelic 60s with her go-go dancing expertise. I'm about to throw up as Madison's walking out on that stage, getting on that box. I think I actually get more stressed out than Madison when she does a solo. I'm very, very nervous for her. She was outstanding. I think the Thank turn's you. in second. On the prop, in the dark. Let's give her a hand for that. That took guts. For me, you do dip in and out. Sometimes I'm like, I see you roaring like a tiger. Ah! But then sometimes I'm like, where is she? I'm like, I'm in for you. Until you go to the technique and your face dips out of the movie. Even if you were snarling or, I don't know, give me something, because it was like, the movie was like amazing until we got there. So that's why I couldn't give you my, ah! because as soon as you went, cool, you said, Madison, you know, this is a million percent what I love. I really think that she swings a ponytail like no one else in this world. You did it with ease, and that stuff is hard to do. But what Richie said, I agree with a million percent. If you don't completely nail that in this competition, you may not stay. You can no longer play it safe. You need to dance like you are never going to dance again, because that's what's going to stop you from winning. I was a little scared dancing on the box, but I knew that I could do it. I'm going to take every correction, and I'm going to make facial expressions so I don't get sent home. Right now, we're cruising back to the 90s as Jordan performs a piece in the hip-hop style of the day. Jordan has to nail this hip-hop number. It's an amazing routine, and I know that she'll blow the audience away, but will she blow the judges away? Oh, yeah.
Now, since this is Richie's forte, I'm gonna turn the first position over to him. Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Wait a minute. Yes, little bit. Oh, oh my God. I thought God. it was just a one finger wave. No, Is she it gets two? a deuce. Oh. I'm gonna give her two. Okay, first of all, I loved your energy. You were at full throttle. It was like a thousand percent. And let's give the Technique kids a couple of little vocabulary words that we learned today while watching Jordan go in. You gave me the MC Hammer. You gave me the Running Man. You gave yeah. me a kick up. You gave me a schoolboy. Old way and new way. You gave me the James Brown split. Fantastic. I'm ashamed. I would fail that vocabulary test. Oh my. I loved it. It was good. But when you don't turn your feet out in big red high tops, it's really noticeable. Your comments are a little crazy this round because turned out feet in hip hop is crazy. No, no, no. It was just so, on, it was just specific movements as she entered into the tumbling. I get it. Okay. As but, she entered into the tumbling, it was very sloppy. Right. Jordan, can I say a little, can I say a little, that last pose you gave? Yes, kids, give up one, give up a peace off for Jordan. I really think I'm making my mom really proud right now. If my mom thinks I can make it, I think it too. Judges, you've seen all five dances. It's now time to decide who you'll be sending home tonight. I am always freaked out about the elimination round, whether I'm going home or it's just the process of, of long waiting and nobody wants to go home. Stay in. Uh. I was disappointed in her because she was next to Amanda. I don't need her. <laughs> Madison, you don't need her? Uh -uh. This was not her best night tonight. I'm sorry. I mean, as much as I love Asia. She is the only one right now in the competition that can do this, that can do it. Okay, she's got to work on her technique, but she's got more positives than negatives. Okay, yeah. So we're OK with these four. I, I'm sorry. I think her time has come. Let's go. Judges, have you come to a decision? Yes. yes. Bring them out. Let's do this. Let's bring the dancers and their moms back out to the stage, please. Round of applause. There's a lot of pressure. I mean, there's only seven left, and we don't know who's going home because now everybody's really amazing. So it, it's, it's really nerve wracking. When your name is called, please step forward. Madison. Jordan, can you please step forward? Madison. Jordan, you will be competing again next week in the competition. Holy crap. She did this. It was, it's so overwhelming and made every ounce of frustration that her and I had been through together, it made it all worthwhile. All right, now let's get serious because somebody has to go home. Unfortunately, those are the rules, my rules. The worst part about elimination is standing on stage for so long. You might think that you're safe, but you never know. Lexine, will you please step forward? Hadley and Mom, can you please step forward? Lexine, Hadley, you've earned yourself a spot in the hot seat. One of you will be going home this evening. Congratulations to the three other dancers on stage. You are moving forward in the competition. In a perfect world, Maria, Lexine, and Hadley could stay, and Yvette goes home. But that'd be in my fantasy land. Lexine, you have been consistently a technical dancer. However, I keep preaching the same things to both you and Hadley. The feet, the knees, the legs. We need to see it improving. Tonight, you drop the ball. 
I do not want to announce this. <sighs> Lexine, today is not your day. <laughs> Lexine, this is just the beginning. I'm thinking we've got another chance. Great. W what doesn't kill her makes her stronger. It's all right. This experience was a revelation of feelings for each other. Lexine will, will do great with, with whatever she does, and I will always be there for her. It's time for us to go home, please. Oh, don't, don't, don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. The biggest lesson that I learned is to push harder, and when I go back home, I'm going to keep training. I mean, keep training as hard as I can. On my ultimate dance competition. Do you want to be in the top five? Safe is over. Point the damn foot, or guess what? Pack your bags because it's over. It's done. You got to pull it together and fix your feet and your corrections. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just feeling a lot of pressure in my rehearsal today. One of you are going home tonight.